What is up you guys, and of course as always, welcome back to our Valhalla Pokemon League Battle! And of course, this is playoff round one, so it's either make it or break it versus Leinster, Latios, or of course, Owen. And yeah, you know, we are wearing the same team, so we had what's called uh, internal conflict week, which is the first playoff week basically, to be able to knock out one's teammate, to be able to see which of the top two players makes it to the playoff, or you know, the real one, I would say. So Owen's team here is very tough, and the team he brought is pretty much what I was expecting. He had to make a save line on his team, which was a possible Pokemon I could see, but quite frankly, these are the six I was prepping for, therefore my six are on point with what I'm going to be a force to be dealing with. So I have an Adamant Law Pony, which is creeping, of course, Latios. That's pretty much the only thing I can do, if I am adamant, that is. So we have Fake Out, Quick Attack, and uh, Return, and High Jump Kick. Jolteon, Flame, or Virgin, with the Baton Pass to be able to not be locked in towards the Dog Trio. Uh, with Thunderbolt, Hidden Power, Eyes, and Shadow Ball. Uh, then we have Boss Wall, and Life, or Virgin, Speed Enough to Outspeed, Ferrali Gator, and of course the likes of, um, what do you call it? His Magirna, which I really needed to creep with anything. So, with Earthquake, Leech Life, and Ice Punch with Substitute. Then we have Tentacruel, Sugarberry variant, though it was considering a Shed Shell variant, but in the last minute I decided to change that in case his Magirna was Earth Power. So, we are actually a Bulkier variant with Mirror Codes, um, Scald, uh, Sludge. Bomb, I believe, and rapid spin in case his world people was making it. Quite frankly, Telegrill's role here could have been to be haste against uh, Magirna, but I felt that that was too obvious. So I'd rather try to abuse that against him, and so I don't carry haste. It might be a risk, but quite frankly, uh, Tentacruel's role here is kind of time to make sure that passes are in state of the field. Guard Chomp, Gen 4 variant, which means no rough skin with Earthquake. Dragon Claw, um, that we have Endure, and Sword Stance. We have Endure for one thing and one thing only, and that is to ensure that the Salic Berry kicks in. So yeah, we're Salic Berry variant, as right. Basically, to make sure that no Pokemon on his side can really sweep me. And if they try to, I can be able to outspeed him. And then we have Rhydon, which are a special defensive variant with almost close to max HP and 24 in its defenses and summon at its attack. Basically, Rhino's role here is to wall Entei unless it's hidden power grass, which I have to watch out for, to get it with the likes, of course, of actually just setting up rocks. So the Pokemon that didn't make it this team was... For my so was Metagross, which also was a consideration. They didn't make it for a very good reason. Entei is a very tremendous threat, so Rhydon makes more sense. Uh, and of course, Garchomp kind of fills that same role of being more relevant. Uh, and also, huge shout out to Xbride who helped me design the team. We really was talking for two weeks how to tackle this team. And I feel that this team, if anything, is on point. So, with any further ado, let's of course go into the match itself. So from the get-go, I'm going to lead off with my Mega Law Pony. I just need to fake out damage to get it with like a quick attack to just kind of see what he wants to do and ride on things like obviously from my side. So we're very lucky here. He starts up with the Feraligator and we can easily go, as I said here, for a fake out, scouting the damage output as he goes to Flame Dog, which is great for us because we really need this thing Willow Down to make sure that Garchomp can actually sweep. Uh, so yeah, Mega Lotion, you know, the boom, bada boom, boom. It's the bunny! <laughs> so anyway, we go for Fake Out, and the damage output really shows us here that the High Jump Kick can actually KO from this range. So this is very good, but it does switch out to for Alligator, and I was thinking, ah oh, great, we 2 it for Alligator, no problem after High Jump Kick. Well, we do miss it, the game is far from over, but that is unfortunate because that means that we need to switch out our strats here, and I can't, you know, risk any more damage on Law Pony. So I'm gonna send in the Mailman as he switches out to his Latias. Now, Latias Psychic can, may very well KO, and I'm not going to take a risk on that, as I'll just switch in Desotroya, 
Since Rhydon is special defensive, it can easily take a hit. And as you guys can see, yeah, that's that's game. That's Rhydon is on par. As I'll actually go for an avalanche here, which might have been a misprediction. Definitely should have gone for Stealth Rocks here, which would have been a lot more helpful, or at least Earthquake, right? Whatever really says it was definitely going to switch out. So I'm switching in Calypso here, trying to soak a hit as he gets that free Dragon Dance going on. And that's not the best. That's not the best in the world, as he can easily, of course, go for an Earthquake here. And I knew that. So I'm going to switch out directly. I'm not going to try to soak an Earthquake here, as he actually goes for a Crunch. And that's all right. We do take that really, really well, and we can definitely take a plus one waterfall. As he shows me hidden power flying, so that's that's unfortunate. But that's all right. So you know, Buswell clearly falls. Awesome prep from Owen's side here, most certainly. As I can switch in Tifa, and we have yet to get the real damage on this, so we're gonna go for the fake out just to scout how much it does. And yes, Fake Out plus Quick Attack is enough to KO it. So with that in mind, I'm going to switch out to my Calypso, my Tentacruel, trying to soak that Waterfall, force him for a Crunch, and then go for the Fake Out Quick Attack combination on Law Pony. So we take that really well. He is forced to go for a Crunch here. We know he's going to leave move set. He can't go for an Earthquake or anything like that. Switching in Tifa. Feeling really good about this. It goes to Crunch. We get the predictions right. Well, we do get a crit against us, which definitely kind of... Kind of spiked a lot on it there. So, Law Pony was not made for this battle whatsoever. Now, with that in mind, I can't take a risk here. I'm not going to go for an end already. I can easily take a Waterfall I, and even with Share Force and plus one. So, I will activate my Select Berry. I was kind of debating if I should have gone for a Swords. But let's say that if it went for another Dragon Dance being crazy and whatnot, this could have backfired tremendously. And it's not like a plus one would really resolve anything here. He's going to go to Ashley here. And I was feeling that this was a weird play. I found out later that this Latias is actually Scarfed. I'm going to Endure, basically hoping goes for Draco or anything weird. As I can just try to best do the best of that opportunity. As uh, I'm just going to Dragon Claw. There's no reason for me switching out and take a possible Psychic. As I do outspeed. So he actually missed EV'd his Latias there. So we are back. We are back in the game as the Flame Dog come in. Now... He's most certainly going to go for Extreme Speed, but I can't risk it. So even though Rider would have been a really, really nice switch in here, I can't take that risk at all. And uh, I'm sorry, but I really just need to go to my Destroyer now. And uh, I'm actually going to go for Rockstar directly because I'm figuring he's already banned it. There is no way he would have played this thing in any different way. And I'm switching to Creo. And this was very tough for me because I kind of realized that he sashed then this is kind of wrap, but I mean, I can't take two earthquakes, there's no way, and he can definitely sweep from here. Well, luckily for us, he's actually not focused Sash, and we can KO this Doug Trio, which makes it a bit unfortunate that I didn't go for Earthquake directly and just KO it on the switch out, because here comes Magirna, it just screams the Sugar Berry variant, and I'm not going to take a risk here, I'm actually just going to hard switch to Tentacruel, uh, hoping goes for a Call Mind or Shift Gear anywhere, any way he does it, it's fine. We see the Call Mind, so that's alright. Uh, it has Earth Power, it won't KO me and I can retaliate with a Mirror Coat. I'm hoping I'm baiting him as all hell, as it shows me Shadow Ball. So it's definitely a Shadow Ball Dazzling Gleam variant, which was the one I was fearing. As we can retaliate with a Mirror Coat and barely shy of a KO. Now, I do have Scald, and I really can't KO with Scald, so really unfortunate. didn't have um, the likes of Surf, but we do get the burn, which means that we do KO him anyway, and the poor, poor Magirna actually falls. And that's very cool, that's very cool indeed, but we're still in a predicament, and I really won't deny that fact, and that is that, you know, Fundy is gonna come in, is most certainly gonna go for Agility or Nasty Plot, either way is fine. I'm just gonna go for Sludge Bomb, hoping for the Poison. We don't score that, and that's really, really, really bad, as he goes for Agility, and I am right now fearing whether or not he has the, um, the, the C Focus Blast. If so, then Jolteon might very well die, as I switch in my Van Height, you know, we have Rhydon and, of course, this left, so it should be fine. As he shows me Hidden Power, and that's really good. It's Hidden Power Ice, most likely, and it's not going to even come near a KO. As we're telling with Hidden Power Ice, we most certainly will KO. And we're going to activate the Flame More, which kind of was wasted this game. And his last Pokemon is Entei. And uh, Thunderbolt here has a decent chance of KOing, but if not, then Rhydon can come in. 
and most likely take him on. He has to lock himself into something. He is going to show us Bulldoze, though. We're not going to kill it with Thunderbolt. You should probably surprise. <laughs> and Bulldoze has actually a 40% chance of KOing Rhydon. So it comes down to whether or not we can take it. And quite frankly, he has to be lucky as all hell to actually get this roll in his favor. So... Yeah, he does get it. So, damn it, we do lose this game 1-0, but my god, one hell of a game. So, yeah, we do strike out here, and we actually get knocked out of playoff, but I wasn't too, like, mad or salty here about this game. While I am very, very unlucky when it comes to Law Pony's overarching function, being, of course, missing the high jump kick, which really, really did sting, and I think the worst is that we get to actually the crunch crit against us, which definitely nullified Lopin's primordial function here and made me play one of my aces very early with Garchomp. I really believe that, you know, we got an opening to actually make a recovery, but at the same time, we really was pushed back quite a lot in the early game, and that really did, well, dent us fairly early. I think Owen here really had a very interesting for Alligator with Hidden Power Flying, and it did dent me the way he was predicting. Uh, I just really hope to get the early game right and just pressure him because I know from watching his later games that he tries to get a good maneuverability over his team and just overall trying to scout the matchup and what he's dealing with. And I think no, having that information on my side, knew, I knew that he was going to try to switch around a lot and I knew a lot, but I could pummel him early on very well if you play that game. And unlucky for us, we missed the high kick early, which made that strat tougher to just capitalize on. So with that out of the way, I'm really just gonna try to say this. No, I'm not gonna try to take away the victory from Owen, even if I probably would have won without the hacks. He probably would have played differently if the hacks was not so in his favor in the beginning. You know, I really can't look away from that. So it all becomes a game of, you know, suggestive possible strats. And in the end of the day, yeah, I probably still had a decent chance of winning, but I do strike out in the end, and it's unfortunate, but quite frankly, I enjoy this game so much, I don't necessarily care. Uh, it is unfortunate we lose uh, the, the wrong one playoff, but at the end of the day, Le <laughs> Owen here is one of the best battlers in this league, and I think if I'm being on par with him, it's more than enough confirmation of me knowing that you know I, I play with one of the best players, and that's where I want to be, that's how I want to view myself, is being able to get that confirmed with this game is very, very, very relieving. So, with that said, guys, yeah, no more leaks in, <laughs> actually, Sun and Moon. We're going to come back to Ultra Sun and Moon with Season 4 of Develop of my League. I'm going, hopefully, to keep you guys updated what's happening in the league itself. We have still eight contenders who are battling for, you know, the championship, and while I'm, I'm not part of them, I'm still owning the league, so hell yeah, I'm still gonna follow that up no matter what. And to Owen, you know, best of luck to you. Make sure to make, to be the top four guys at least. I really, really want to be confirmed that you know you're still one of the best. And uh, if I'm not being knocked out by the best player, if not the champion itself, you know that 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 helps me. That helps this loss so much better because that means I only lost one out to a freaking roll, and that's that's fine by me. So, best of luck to you, and for everybody else who's been joining me for this season and helped me out, and of course supporting me, thank you for doing this, so you guys have been great. And also thank you for really reviving the mailman thing. Damn, Buzzwall is such a big deal nowadays, I'm, I'm so happy you guys love that Pokemon. I do too, clearly. But yeah, as always guys, thank you for watching, and um, make sure to follow um, Owen's side of the things, because clearly he's going to have another game coming up. And that's going to be against the Nostra, I do believe. Anyway, guys, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.